This clip is brought to you by VegasWinners.com. Get expert sports betting advice from some of the best handicappers in the world. Head on over to VegasWinners.com and win yourself some money. And the dream continues, literally. Here's the American dream on Mid-Atlantic TV, talking about Arn Anderson on April 19th, 1986. All right, fans, a pleasure now to have with us right here, Baby Doll and the American dream, Dusty Rose. Dusty. You know, you just see the big chief wall, man, Daniel Dusty Rose, the American dream, Rick Flair, Tully Blanchard, Iron Edison. You're going to have to deal with us. You know, that Indian strap match will cut you like a knife. And that bull rope will ding a few hairs. Me and this pretty lady standing out here. Nationwide, going throughout this country right now. I've been talking about a lot of people for a lot of weeks. But I'm going to lay it right in your lap. Ian Anderson, I have now come to the conclusion in my mind and the fact of you running around with something that belongs to me. So from this point on, I want you to go to bed. I want you to wake up in the morning. I want you to do every waking hour knowing one thing that Dusty Rose's America dream is now after one thing and one thing only. I ain't talking about nobody else. I'm talking about the world's television title around your waist. We can cripple you. We can maim you. We can do whatever needs to be done. But the fact is, you got to deal with the fact that Dusty Rose, the American dream, wants his world's TV title back around his waist. Baby doll likes the luxury of traveling in class. No matter what it is, she loves being around a champion. She loves doing for a champion, being for a champion. And Iron Anderson, go to bed. Wake up and look around the room because I have based my whole life in getting back at people that do wrong to the American dream and the American way of life. Ian Anderson, take it to the bank. The world's TV title is going to be around this chubby little plumber son from Austin, Texas waist before the month is out. That ain't no threat. That is just pure living life and loving it. And I'm going to tell you something else you got to remember. Tell your cousin, Rick Flair, this, talking about all the ladies. You can ask Dolly here until you've been kissed by the dream. Baby, you ain't been kissed. And that's what it's all about. The American Dream, Dusty Rhodes and Baby Doll. And then we'll be right back. We'll have more after we take this time out. Dude, how great is Dusty? Uh, I'm fixing to lose that TV title, aren't I? I mean, it sounds like it to me. Yeah. Yeah. The jig is up for him to make that promise on that TV. That strong. I am in the crosshairs fixing to lose that title. Some bitch. We're back to Greensboro and you're working second from the top and uh, it's going to be dusty Ricky and Robert taking on Ric Flair, Tully and Arn Anderson in an elimination match. Now this to me feels like where the rubber meets the road because there's been lots of, uh, interviews that Ricky and Robert have done over the years where they felt like dusty was not exactly happy with how over they had gotten. He felt like maybe they had gotten more popular than he, of course, dusty never said that, but that's certainly the way Ricky and Robert felt over the years, but now they're all here in a six man. Do you remember Ricky and Robert ever having hurt feelings that you knew of with dusty back in the day, were they outward and discussing it? Or does that something they probably just played real close to the vest, close to the vest. I mean, they were so red hot. I mean, yeah. God almighty. I mean, the, the little girls would drown out the guys and man, when they would come through the curtain, you could hear those shrill voices. Those guys were as hot as anybody at any point, you know, dusty was over. Uh, but if they felt that way, that would have been something that that was a very closed conversation and very few people knew about it. I mean, there was nothing to complain about if you had a spot on that crew at that point in time, because, you know, the world was our pearl and right. it was on fire. You're going to continue the, uh, the fire tour. April 21st in Greensville, South Carolina. It's a TV taping. Uh, there you're actually going to fight Wahoo McDaniel to a double count out for TV on the 24th. You're in Cambridge, Maryland at the Dorchester YMCA working with Wahoo on the 25th. You're back in Richmond, Virginia. Once again, your opponent is Wahoo. And then we're doing TV again on the 26th. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. 
be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new contents. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.